This is Ryan Kerr, on behalf of the Golding Institute, dedicated to preserving without prejudice the sounds that make up our vast galaxy and form the parameters of our culture. Today we will examine the sonic landscapes of a location so close to most of our neighborhoods, yet so far removed from most of our lives. Hello, I'm Ryan Kerr, and we're speaking, of course, of the adult bookstore. It will be my distinct pleasure today to accompany you on this tour of triple X-rated adult bookstores. For reasons of morality or fear, the adult bookstore is a world that some dare not venture into. But now you can experience the erotic environment of these veritable palaces of sin and despair. I know I'm ready to begin this assignment, so let's loosen our belts and go on in. We're in! We've made it. Don't feel shy. You're, you're not a pervert. You're a spy on behalf of the Golding Institute, a not-for-profit organization. So get comfortable, sit back in your easy chair, and above all, listen. Whistle While You Work may have been written with a jolly good children's musical in mind, but here the logic is applied to the most adult of professions, selling anally fixated magazines to sex-crazed wackos, possibly fresh out of the insane asylum. Although a call to a 976 phone sex operator can be quite expensive, on the following field recording our secret spy got more than he bargained for. The cashier at this adult bookstore was not only female, but she was on the telephone, bearing her soul and possibly more. Let's eavesdrop, and it won't cost us three ninety nine a minute. she was working for is no longer there. And we didn't get through Beacon, but basically everybody else, they can only verify these. Man, don't tell me. Oh, okay. How about say, damn, we, we got some blank, uh, some, uh, what are those called? White, white box of pieces. We got a box of PCs. Two boxes. Listening to this next selection with its pounding hammers, it's easy to imagine you've stumbled upon a typical construction site. Wrong again, chum. The workers captured on tape here aren't building a church or hospital. They're hard at work constructing self-masturbation booths for the erotically ambitious customers of San Francisco's sin hole.
Now here's a true insider's perspective into the world of the adult bookstore. The secret, sensual, behind-the-scenes dealings of the people who make their living in this most unorthodox fashion. Yeah, yeah. I can hear the mic. Okay. I have, so I have like, this is, this is the problem is that I have agendas for like the next two weeks. I am packed full. Already as it is, I'm three days behind. I'll worry about that. I was sick one day. Dramas are happening, whatever. I'm three days behind. I'm not even. I was sick and just kind of interruptions, customers, this, that, whatever. You yeah, know, I things that I have to do. No, no, not small. big drama, no. I mean, it, you know, it's ha I can handle it, but I'm already behind. It's not much to worry about over here right now. I'll do a lot, I'll put a lot, because I can already look at Because we need to get rid of half of these straight titles. That's like, that number one. We can transfer a lot of them over to uh, Frenchies, I can see. So I can see a lot of titles. I think they can. Yeah, I think we can take a reward sheet to go to some of this stuff. Yeah. Okay. He knows a lot of videos. You know? I mean, a lot of stuff. I mean, you know, he's not a super, but he's good. I mean, you know, he took a ball and shot me. The guy was put in there with lack of training. I mean, he didn't have much training, not much time. All those things he knew about. And there they're doing, the they, they're going through like the same thing there. They were with the customers all just walking into the yeah, back. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Which, is, which is indicative of all their stores. Don't think that a lot of them. It's different from any other show. Mm -hmm. Because no, we have the same problem when we take over their store. I remember the X Club. X Club the same way and the same way as this. Same thing. I almost got into fights with these big prostitutes yeah. trying to go to the volume all girl. You can go back there. You know, they used to think they could just do whatever, and that's what it took. Because I remember, you know, being in an X Club that whole first month. That yeah, when we were doing them. videos uh -huh. and stuff, that was a mess. You know, but now, that's, that's stopped now. Across the board, disdain for the customer can be typical of the jaded, hollow employees of these adult establishments. Their dreams shattered by years in prison behind the counter of the adult bookstore, they have no compunction about taking out their misery on their depraved clientele. These types of people come here are better looking. They don't want to have bathroom. They look really sleazy and, and horrid. And they don't want to have bathroom. They don't want to have bathroom. They don't want to have bathroom. They Are you looking for tokens indeed? Let's enter now the secret world of tokens, tissues, and no talking. The private viewing booths located in the back of these adult shops.
In the background of this next selection, the music of Elvis Presley is heard. A wee bit of irony, since the location is a place the king would never dare venture. An adult bookstore exclusively for gay men. If there is any conclusion to be drawn from all this, it is that one need not assign a feeling of shame to an adult transaction. Listen to the calm, mature, even friendly interaction between the patrons of this next adult establishment. Bar, it's a bar, it's a bar. I don't go to bars here. Uh, I go to bars here. Why I hate bars. Want to go to bars then? And all they do is play hillbilly music and smoke. <laughs> and more fancy restaurants with people blowing smoke over my food. $50 for food, and they're blowing smoke over it, so I can't taste it. <laughs> it's not even cigarettes. It's a damn Havana cigar. Ah, and what's that vacuum cleaner doing? Wouldn't you like to know, you dirty-minded old bird? Perhaps it's cleaning up, or perhaps you should clean up your dirty thoughts. On behalf of the Golding Institute, a not-for-profit organization documenting the world's sonic landscapes, until next time, this is Ryan Kerr. The Golding Institute.